Congratulations on purchasing your Culligan Advanced Drinking Water System. Did you know that Culligan AquaClear has lifetime warranty on the manifold and tank? But let's learn now how to change those filters. This is our Culligan test lab. Yours will look slightly different. First, we need to identify the source water feeding the system and shut it off. Second, we'll need to identify the tank shutoff. Here's an example of a tank valve, and you'll notice the wing faces down the line when it's open. We're going to turn that 90 degrees so it shuts off. Now you're ready to change the filters. You should have a tap, and from the tap you're going to bleed off any residual pressure. Now you're ready to remove the filters. One quarter turn to the left will release the filter and then you pull straight down. Get your new filter, take the cap off it, position it so the O-rings will be in the back and a little square in the front. Push it up and then rotate one quarter of a turn. It should feel a detent that you go over. Push it all the way, you can't turn it too much. The most common error is that people actually don't turn it past the detent. Note that the plastic will turn independently of the filter. So sometimes people mistake it for being unlocked or locked because the plastic will turn as opposed to the filter. Now you're ready for your next filter. Quarter turn to the left. Pull down and then replace with your other filter, turning it past the detent to your stop. Then the RO membrane will be next. Remove the RO membrane, the same as the other filters, quarter turn and pull down. Then note that it's got a line attached to the bottom. This is your drain line. This is very important. Let's remove the elbow. Push on the ring, pull back while you wiggle on the elbow. The new RO membrane comes with a capillary tube on the cap. Save it for later. It's very important. Attach the drain line to the new cartridge. Then we're going to remove the capillary tube. Remember we took that and saved it? Capillary tube is a specific length. Do not cut it. They are also matched to the specific cartridge, in this case, an RO50. It is a red capillary tube. Separate the drain line from the 90 degree elbow. You're going to pull the old capillary tube out. Grab it there and just pull it straight out. You're going to straighten the new capillary tube out, being careful not to kink it and then you're going to put it down the drain line. At this time, it's a good idea to blow through the capillary tube just to make sure that you've got some airflow. That'll be the metering device of the capillary tube for water flow. Then put it into the drain line. Be very careful you don't push with your thumb. That'll push the capillary tube out of the rubber stopper. Always push with your fingernails on each side of it. Make sure it's fully seated. And then we're going to put it back into the elbow on the new reverse osmosis membrane. If it's fully seated, you can pull on it and it will not come out. That's how you double check so you don't have leaks. Now you're ready to put that assembly back up into your manifold doing the same as we did before. Making sure we turn it a quarter turn to the right past the detent and then we're going to check all the other filters also. Now let's show you how to add the total defense, the National Standards Foundation certified cartridge to remove lead and other impurities like pharmaceuticals, PFOAs and PFOSs. Yeah, it really is this easy to upgrade your system from a 4 to a 5 filter system. 
Don't forget the post carbon filter, that little torpedo looking filter. Just replace it the same as the others. Keep note of the direction on the filter. If you got your filters from our Culligan store, we will ask you if you're putting them in right away, we will pre-flush your filters. The startup is different if you got dry filters. If they're pre-flushed, there's nothing more you need to do. But on the case that they're dry filters, we're going to show you how to deal with that. We're going to pre-flush them in our system here. First, let's turn on our source water to our system using the valve we shut off earlier. Now the water is starting to flow through our filters. And then we're going to open up our tap to let it drain out at our tap. In my case, the tap is just this hose here. It'll take a little while for water to start to run through and that is your production. If your filters are unflushed, it may be dirty because of the carbon it may take a little while for it to clear up. If they're unflushed, you're going to want to run those for about uh, at least four hours, I would say six hours, before you shut off your tap. As you can see, this rate of production, if I actually measured that with a measuring cup, and did six minutes and then measured how much I got, I can times that by 10 and that's my production rate for an hour. And that'll tell you whether you're producing properly or not. When you feel that your filters are properly flushed, then shut off your tap and turn on your tank. 